your flesh, kid. What's left of it? The page, Blaze. This time I will not be so tolerant. Hold that thought. Soulless bastards must smell the damn thing on me. My mother be damned. Soulless don't give two rats about Lilith. Or even Kassan. Who do they serve then? Good question. But right now I got a better one. You want this? Is that what you're all here for? You're here. Tenebris, Ignis, Lux Tenebris. Wait, In virtue he's not reading the page. Yes, he is. Get back! Things are about to get great. Martha, there you go. may not be powerful, but they have the numbers to overwhelm you. Don't get cocky. As if the Lilin were not enough. Now we face the soldiers of another
effective. It's your time. <laughs> Gonna make you pay for that. They are still coming for me. This creature's a bear. I should have no trouble dispatching them. And quickly. I feel more like myself every day. The advantage is mine. Reaching the end of their onslaught, but don't relax just yet. I was just starting to enjoy myself. Now. Return. 
return to your mother. Hunter, when you get a chance, could you meet me at the chapel? How old is this game? Everybody looks like a block. Oh, this was a huge... Trust me, Magic. Tomorrow is gonna be... Uh, are you just gonna stand there, or are you gonna take a seat? You wanted to see me? You won't believe this, but we did it. Did what? Remember that first account of Lil and Corruption I found in the Book of Thoth? the story of the ancient pharaoh who was struck down with corruption and the traveling light worker who purified him that's the one of course i remember well magic and i finally transcribed the incantation the light worker used and i'm pretty sure we can use it to finally remove your psycho mom's corruption over wanda pretty sure is not enough Especially not when meddling with powers that are as unstable as chaos magic. Jeez, Hunter. Sound like caretaker much? The incantation killed someone, Nico. It just does not sound safe. Oh, it's definitely not safe. How so? <clears throat> uh, full disclosure, the reason the Lightworker died was because he had to take on all that dark energy into his body, and he just couldn't handle it. I tried finding a workaround, but all the texts on Chaos Magic said the same thing. Corruption can't be destroyed. It has to go somewhere, or to, like, somebody. So whoever removes it from Wanda will also have to absorb it. Please tell me you are not going to attempt to absorb it. You will surely fall. Oh, I'm not absorbing your mother's toxic energy. You are. Excuse me? B before you freak out, just hear me out. 
You're Lilith's kid. Out of everyone here, the only person who has a shot of absorbing all that dark energy and not falling is you. Besides, if you don't do it, I will, and then you'll have my demise on your hands. So, welcome aboard, Hunter. When is this happening? As soon as we break back into Banner's lab. Oh, and uh, just one more thing, so it's not because it's kind of crucial. I'm gonna need you to memorize the incantation and recite it verbatim when you see Wanda in his lab. It's the only way to subdue her. It goes... <clears throat> Ego sum tenebris et venunt in domum suam iubet dominus. Ego sum tenebris domun domini precepta your. Think you can remember that, Hunter? I do not know. If Caretaker hears about this... Well, it's your job to convince her, isn't it? You need to memorize those lines as if your own life depends on it. Because it just might. Remember to study your lines, Hunter, because you do not want to screw this up. I just hope you... Theory? Want to hear it? My theory is that it's underappreciated work to be an awesome badass loner. I mean, did you see what happened when Blaze read the parchment aloud? That was an act of mad genius. Maybe one day you will see Blaze for the man he truly is. I hope it comes soon. I don't. The guy's a stone-cold legend. No reason why we should look for ways to tear him down. Especially after he saved our asses. After all that, we still do not have the parchment. Without it, we cannot destroy it. Here's the thing. He's got no one to rely on. It's just him out there, facing this stuff all alone. He's not gonna give us something like the parchment easily. I think we all need to cut him some slack. Do not give him the courtesy of an excuse, Robbie. Blaze's behavior is endangering everyone. Not just us, but everyone you love. I'm just trying to understand where he's coming from. Once we understand him, we can figure out how to handle him. I once had the same thought about my mother. As you can see, I never figured out how to handle her. Nor did anyone else. Seeing Blaze in action really solidified some things for me, Hunter. And what is that? I still got a long way to go if I ever want to make my mark as a spirit of vengeance. Then you have work to do. Uh, yeah, I do. It's just hard to gain that kind of confidence when I'm always left on the sidelines. Anyways, I had to tune up the ride. She really took a beating out in the desert. thinks he's so clever with this demonic barrier, but I promise you, I'm gonna have the last laugh. This isn't about one-upmanship, Tony. Just let me focus, and I can get Hunter through the barrier. What's the holdup? Besides your incessant grumbling about Banner in my ear, I haven't yet found a way to properly shield the Hunter to pass through the barrier. 
Yeah, sure. While you're working on your magic fairy dust, I'll figure out how we get the parchment back here. It's too dangerous to be left out there in the wild. It's not fairy dust. That's all wrong for this job. And if this sanctum was still around, that would have been the perfect place to store the parchment. Well, it's gone, and Banner's still out there taunting me. So let's hurry up and get some answers. Hunter, do you have a spare gamma accelerator? I'm serious, what kind of ancient hero are you if you don't have the latest experimental gamma technology in your back pocket? Of course, but I put them in my gamma pants. Sorry. <sighs> you have gamma pants? Jealous! Do you not have other things to be focusing on right now? Well, no, actually. Among other things, I'm trying to figure out how to breach that nasty barrier of go away that Banner managed to throw up around the Hydra Lab. Strange swears up and down that he'll be able to pierce the veil. If he can deliver, great. Otherwise, he should get out of the way, you know? The rivalry between you and Strange is somewhat amusing, but the time for amusements is running out. You need to find a way to work together. Are you kidding me? I love the Doc. Yeah, he's a little stiff, but we're like brothers. I even let him use my beard trimmers. You still feel confident in your plan to destroy the parchment with the accelerator? Well, I've been going over my father's files. He had big plans for this thing. Let's just say I don't think anything would withstand being on the wrong end of it at the wrong time. You believe your father had ill intent for this device? He had ill intent for everything. But this, in particular. I think he was trying to find a way to unlock the scientific essence of magic itself. So in a way, it's kind of poetic. I'm going to use Dad's shady tech to stop Banner's shady treachery. Forget about revenge, Tony. Think about the ways that technology could be used for good. I cannot allow my own vengeance to cons- well, I see your point. I don't want to wallow in the muck, stay above it, etc., etc. Look, I'm not getting anything done. I'll tell you what, let's find this Gamma Accelerator, bring side, stop your mom, and then we can sit down and have a nice chat. I've got this awesome new juicer back at my place. We can do it there. Juicer? Oh, you'll love it. It would juice your shoes if you let it. In the meantime, back to work. Robbie got to work alongside one of his idols. I am just the fool Blaze risks us all with his reckless antics, blindly wielding the parchment of power like a child with their first wooden sword. Who knows what horrors he could have unleashed? We are fortunate he did not destroy us all. Had you not forced his hand, perhaps he would not have used it, Mother. Men like Blaze need little justification for their act. Besides, it was not I who set the soulless upon you. It's bad enough you and your misguided heroes are hell-bent on keeping the parchment from me. If someone, something else, were to get their hands on that wretched thing, Wretched? You would speak ill of your precious Darkhold? The Darkhold is many things. Precious is not one of them. The book has a will of its own. It enslaves then destroys any soul full and tame it. No matter how strong they may think they are. Better to help me contain the damage, lest it consume us all.
Your forces butcher all in their path. You send assassins to cut our throats. Forgive me if I fail to believe you are trying to help us, Mother. Not us, child. You. Everything I do is for you. Despite how it may seem at this moment, that will never change. The parchment of power will be found. The dark holds will be made whole. He wills it so. Secret guardians, sorcerers, and tinkerers. Your so-called family will shatter before the coming storm. But you and I will stand tall, precious child. United before the eye of the midnight sun. I would not count on that, Mother. The Parchment of Power's ability to conjure walls of fire is, as Stark would say, a feature, not a bug. Strange also said don't read the Parchment. Ah, Hunter. Just who I was hoping to see. I understand you've already been on the hunt with Blade, so you're aware of our unusual visitor on the grounds? Yes. We encountered something Blade called the Bar Guest. His instincts were correct. I believe it is indeed the Bar Guest, or someone's attempt at creating a facsimile of one. Is the Abbey in danger? Not unless we provoke it. However, it seems to harness a dark magic similar to what courses through the barrier. I need you to track this bar guest, capture it, and bring it to me here in the forge. But please, don't kill it. It's my hope that I can find a way to use its magics to break through the barrier to the lab. After battling Hydra agents and Fallen, tracking a pup on the Abbey ground sounds like a vacation. Do not let your guard down, Hunter. As I said, it's no ordinary dog, but a demonic entity. I suggest you bring Blade and Wolverine with you. I believe the portal will soon be at its apex. I'll do my best to keep it stable until you can cross. I'll see you there, Hunter. Track the beast quickly. Time is of the essence. Wow, Blaze didn't hesitate to read. Is that like Welcome to Tony's Scary Demon Cave. I'm Tony, and how may I assist you today? Destroy the parchment of power as soon as possible. I guess Johnny Blaze didn't get the don't read from the evil Grimoire. Blaze's defense, Strange does send out a lot of memos. Disturbingly reckless of John Blaze to read that page. No single spell in the Dark Hold comes without a price. I'm here if you need me. We've really been putting the pedal to the Hydra Metal, huh, Hunter? Haven't seen the Hell Right this fired up since. Will ever. I thought she could use a little tune-up and we could use a little break to catch him. What is on your mind, Robbie? Honestly, just wanted to say thanks. I was starting to feel like a fifth wheel around here for a while. But lately, not so much. Even though Sparky agrees. He, well, both of us, just wanted to say thanks. Nice to feel useful. Know what I mean? Friends help each other, Robbie. That is what we are here for. Thanks, Hunter. It's not always easy talking about this stuff, you know. I didn't exactly grow up in as friendly a neighborhood as Spider-Man. Nor did I. My mother made sure of that. Yeah. With me, it was my uncle. Something else we have in common, I guess. Who would have thought? A 300-year-old demon hunter from Old Salem, Massachusetts, hanging with the spirit of vengeance from East L.A. 
in a magically restored transient abbey as, you know, friends. Stranger things have happened, and will happen, I am sure. And I look forward to all of them. I did not think church was your style, Daywalker. Actually, it's Eric. Eric Brooks, from Harlem. I do not have any other name. It is just... Hunter. Really? I thought you'd have some old formal sounding name like Charlotte or... Afraid not. I was born a weapon and raised as one. I am guessing that is why Caretaker chose to just call me Hunter. She did not want to give me the impression I was allowed to be human. Well, Sarah isn't exactly known for her warm parenting style. Kent's mentor was much better. He was hard on me too. Wanted to make sure I survived. You had a mentor? I wasn't born this cool. Someone had to teach me. His name was Jamal Afari, a vampire hunter. He gave me the name Blade. He used to take me to church on Sundays when I was a kid. Taught me right from wrong. Well, if it means anything to you, he did a fine job teaching you morality and ethics. Sometimes I think the difference between taking the high road and slumming it in the gutter is having someone who believes in you enough to lift you up. He could have killed me, you know. And he would have been within his rights to put me down too, but he didn't. Jamal was the first person to look past the fangs and see my humanity. Trained me to control my darkness so I could become the vampire hunter I am today. I guess what I'm saying is, you deserve that same benefit of doubt. You may be a demon child, but I see the human in you winning. I would like to extend the same sentiment to you, as a friend. I don't need it, but I'll take it. It's good to have someone keep you in check. So what happened to this Jamal Afari? Do you still keep in touch? No, I killed him. Why? What happened? He asked too many questions. Just kidding. You keep showing me I can trust you, and maybe I'll tell you the whole story someday. But for now, I just want to let you know you're not all bad, Hunter. Just half bad, and that's good enough for me. Space. I wonder if it spelled anything. I didn't understand a word. Was it Latin? Thon right at the dawn of time, which, according to my. Not needed, right? Well, if anyone was wondering what practice makes perfect. Never seen a create a wall of hellfire before. Rookie. Johnny Red from the Big Bad Book. That's a very just blaze thing to do. No point in hiding it, Hunter. I already got a whiff of that demon dog you're after. Blade said I gave you two the slip the other night. I want in on the next run. Perhaps that is what our hunt is missing. You have attitude. Me? Positive? That's a new one. But I am curious about this mystery dog of yours. 
This supernatural beast roaming the Abbey grounds has proven difficult to track. Still, Strange thinks it may be critical to breaking through the barrier. Blade's no slouch, and I've seen you in action. This thing must be the real deal if it's giving you trouble. It is a Bargist. It resembles a hound, but it is not. It is a spectral omen of death. I thought I smelled a weird doggy odor out by your old crypt. I chalked it up to the side effects of your resurrection. I do not smell like a dog, thank you very much. <laughs> ah, I'm just busting your chops. You smell a lot worse than a dog. This beast is vitally important. You say you picked up the scent near Hunter's Folly? Yeah, that's right. If I went back there, I could probably pick it up. No sweat. So, I'll meet you there? Did you just invite yourself along? Bet your ass I did. I'll see you at the Folly tonight. See you at Hunter's Folly. Alright, Blade. Don't jerk me around. Figured you'd pick up this, but it's not just another shadow hound. There's something off about this thing. Is this visit business or pleasure? We have work to do. Then let's not waste any more time. What's going on? I spoke with Strange. He believes the Bargist is more important than we originally understood. I also talked with Wolverine. I know it was not easy for you to admit that we lost the creature. I'll get over it, once we capture that damn thing. You will have your chance. The doctor feels it is imperative that we capture the creature as soon as possible for his research. When is it ever not imperative with these guys? Wolverine has agreed to join us. I assume you have no issue there? The more the merrier. We should start up at Hunter's Folly. That's the last place I saw this thing's tracks. Wolverine also smelled something in that area. So it is agreed. Then I'll see you tonight at the Folly. Blaze tempts fate all the time. Guy's got very little respect for things more powerful than himself. Just saying. I don't want to waste your time, so I'll be direct. I overheard you, Nico, and Magic talking in the chapel last night. I hope you three are not planning another foolish excursion to rescue you-know-who. Magic care for Wanda deeply. So deeply, they are having a hard time letting her go. Hunter, I need you to be straight with me. Are they planning another attempt to save her? Yes or no? Nico did not want me to tell you, but... Yes. Yes, they are. Ah, I knew it. What half-brained scheme is she planning now? She thinks she has a spell to remove corruption. She what? Unbelievable. If she doesn't get herself killed, she will surely take down whoever helped... Thank you for telling me. I will speak to her as soon as we're done here. In the meantime, is there anything else you'd like to know? Or tell me. Why did you keep the parchment's location a secret from us? Uh, are we on that again? We are. Remember the wall of fire spectacle Blaze caused? You mean the wall of fire that engulfed the soulless? That was the result of Blaze reading the parchment, which is why I kept it away from this abbey. I care too much about the Suns to expose them to that kind of danger. So, I gave it to Blaze. It wasn't to deceive the team. It was to protect them. So what you are telling me is that you did not feel the need to protect Blaze? As I'm sure you've gathered, Blaze is someone who not only can take care of himself, but prefers to. My concern is for the Midnight Suns and their well- Blaze's well-being is... not my responsibility. Is there anything else? What if we removed the corruption somehow? 
You already know the answer to that. Which is why I suspect you just told me of Nico's plan. It's impossible. Now that we know where the page is, it will not be long until Lilith finds it. No doubt. Do you... I mean... Have you considered Lilith does not have a choice in the... What do you mean? She sold her soul to Cathan, right? For unlimited power, yes. But does that not mean she is compelled to serve him, even if she does not want to? What? Are you actually feeling sorry for her? Because she made her choices long ago. Perhaps there is a part of me that does pity her. Don't waste your pity on her. She doesn't deserve it. It was her decision to sell her soul to an evil elder god. She knew what she was doing. I have a favor to ask. Oh? When you talk to Nico and Magic, please go easy on them. They mean well. I know. I just can't have them continue to endanger themselves or anyone else over this. Just be gentle. They are still grieving their friend. <sighs> I'll take that into consideration. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. We'll talk more later. Oh, Hunter. Thanks for your honesty today. <laughs>